Right you guys, today we're taking a look at how to download and install Windows 11. This is going to be for people that want to download and install Windows 11 on a computer that is uh, compatible for Windows 11. So first off, head over to the Microsoft website. I'll leave the link in the video description. And you'll see here, if you're upgrading from Windows 10, they'll recommend that you wait until you're offered the upgrade to Windows 11. Also, before installing, please run the PC Health Check app from Microsoft. It will be on your Windows 10 machine and you can try to click on this and see whether your system is compatible. You can see this one's already got Windows 10 on it and you can check the Windows 11 system requirements. This will give you all the information you need. I'll leave the link in the video description about what your system requirements need to be to install Windows 11. Now the two most important ones are gonna be the TPM 2.0 and also your CPU. If it doesn't meet their requirements, then you're not going to be able to install Windows 11 officially on a computer. You can use the bypass method, but that's not what this video is about. So let's talk about uh, the PC Elf Check app. If you run this on your system, it will then tell you whether your system is compatible for Windows 11. So you can run the app and check it. And then when you check this, it will tell you what's missing or what is not enabled on your PC. If you look here, you'll see the processor isn't currently supported for Windows 11. That is the most important thing there. If you see TPM 2.0 enabled, that means the computer does support TPM 2.0, but the CPU is not on their uh, supported list. So you need to make sure that all of these requirements are met. You can then go into the BIOS and enable these features and hopefully you will then be able to install Windows 11 onto that computer if you're eligible for either upgrading or unless you want to do a fresh install, which is what this video is about. Now, before we go ahead and start to do the installation, I just want to have a quick word uh, from today's sponsor. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, click on this one and then you can uh, see we'll bit the Buy Now page, hit the Buy Now button, Put in my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order to get a juicy discount. Once you click apply, it will be reduced down to $16.41. Submit your order and then activate your version of Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro. Now there's three methods here. You've got the Windows 11 installation assistant, which is if you're upgrading uh, to Windows 11. We've also got the download Windows 11 disk image, which is your ISO but we're going to be using the Create Windows 11 installation media onto a USB flash drive. So this is not for upgrading. This is doing a clean install of Windows 11. So download the media creation tool and then open it up and you will see get a few things ready. All we need to do here is let this start up and you will get the terms conditions, accept those, and then it will say get a few things ready again. And then all you need to do here is select whether you want to use this on a recommended options for this PC. This is going to be for the settings for this PC. I uncheck mark this because it gives you options for other versions of Windows. But if you have no intention of using it on any other machine, then just leave the recommended selected. Leave the radio button in USB flash drive and then click next. It will need to be eight gigs or more. If you don't see it listed here, insert it into your PC and then refresh the drive list. Then you should see your drive, click next. And it will get a few things ready again. And then what it's going to do is download the very latest version of Windows 11 with all of those updates installed on there. So let that come down. It will then verify your download and it will then go ahead and start creating your Windows 11 media on that USB flash drive. Once that's done, you should see your USB flash drive is ready. You'll need to boot to this USB flash drive by changing the boot order in your BIOS. Now to enter the BIOS, you're going to need to tap on some keys on reboot. And these keys are listed on the screen. So any one of these keys will get you in the BIOS. Then you need to go to the boot section. Your BIOS may look different, but select the boot and then choose your USB flash drive. Now, as long as you've got all your features enabled in the BIOS, like your secure boot, your TPM 2.0, and also you've got your other features like UEFI, BIOS is enabled and not legacy, then you will be able to continue to install Windows 11. Make your changes and select F10, and it will then start to boot to that USB flash drive. 
for you to install Windows 11. Now, if you see this next splash screen, that means you correctly booted to your USB flash drive and you're ready to install Windows 11. So select your language and time and currency and your keyboard layout, and then you can go ahead and click on Install Now. So remember, all of your data will be erased on this drive. So it's always best just to have one drive plugged in on the computer. That way you don't run the risk of installing Windows on another drive and losing all your data. So choose which version of Windows you need to install for your product key. Now, if you use the recommended section, you won't have this multiple different choices of operating systems. Now, if you do see the PC can't run Windows 11, now, if your PC is compatible and you're seeing this message, it means you haven't enabled all of the correct features in the BIOS. And it also means that you didn't run the PC Health Check app to make sure everything is OK before you've gone ahead and installed Windows. You need to go back and make sure all of those settings are enabled properly. And then you can go ahead and try to install Windows 11 again. Once you've done all your settings, just rerun the uh, PC Health Check app and make sure that everything is enabled properly. Once you see the uh, Terms and Conditions screen, you're ready to go ahead and install Windows 11. So we're going to go ahead and click on the custom install Windows only, and you should see unallocated space if it's a brand new drive. If you've got other partitions here, then you'll need to delete the right partitions to make sure you can install Windows onto the correct drive. You can also create new partitions by selecting the new area here, and this will allow you to uh, partition out the space that you have. You can do this later on inside Windows, which is a lot more easier. If you've got other drives installed, then be very careful what you install Windows onto because you can erase all of that data. Click Next, and this will go ahead and start installing Windows 11 for you, and it will then start the process, as you can see here. So it's going to get the files ready, and I'll speed this process up a little bit here, and it will get to the next screen, and you'll just need to let it do its thing here. It's going to reboot the system a few times, and then you should get to this screen here, where you're going to set up your uh, country and region here. So I'm going to select the United Kingdom, and I'm going to go ahead and then select my keyboard layout. And uh, there should be United Kingdom here. Click yes. Skip this next one if you don't have a secondary a keyboard layout it's going to go off and check for updates so we'll let this go off and do its thing and then if you're using windows 11 home you will need to have a microsoft account to continue the installation unless you use the bypass method to install windows 11 with local account instead of having a microsoft account there is a bypass method you can use and i've made videos on that topic so check my uh, video list so we'll let this go off and do its thing. It's going to get a few things ready for us and get that downloaded and installed. And again, once this is done, you may see the PC restart. Let it restart. And uh, you can remove the flash drive at that stage. Just make sure you don't end up booting to the flash drive again and end up having to reinstall Windows again. You don't want to do that. So you can remove the flash drive after the first reboot. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the next stage here. And this is where we're going to set up for a personal use unless you're using work or school and then we're going to go to the sign in options here now this is where you're going to have a microsoft account if you have windows 11 home but we have a pro account here so we're going to sign in options and have the offline account this is the one we want you won't see this if you're using windows 11 home i'm going to skip this slot for now just skip for now and now you can give a name for the device going to give this a Brightec here and you can give this a password this will be your sign in details i'm going to skip this part go next and we're going to go to the next screen which is the let microsoft apps use your location now if you'd like to use weather and all that sort of stuff then you'll probably have to say yes i'm going to go no here and again find my device i'm going to say no and send diagnostic data to microsoft requirement only and improve inking and typing. This is so they can use diagnostic data to help improve uh, stuff. So I'm going to say no. And the same thing goes here. No. This is so they can uh, give you ads and stuff like that. And we'll move on to the next one, which is no, because this is advertising again. And again, that's it. It's just going to get a few things ready. 
and you should be at the desktop. Uh, there we have Windows 11 installed, and that's basically how you can do it. Now, of course, you'd need to go off and uh, update Windows, and then you can go off and get all your drivers if you need them, and some other bits and pieces that you might want to do. If you want to see a video after you've done a fresh install, let me know uh, down below in the comments section. Other than that, that's basically it. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. A little bit more trickier than Windows 10 because of the TPM and all the other requirements that you're going to need to have enabled in the BIOS. Otherwise, it won't allow you to install Windows 11. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who will join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. Special shout out goes to RTX Brody, Phil's Computer Repair, Ron Hicks, Casso Time, Big Daddy, Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, PC Repair Tech, Albert Euston, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, and Welsh Tony 1. Have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.